There's a new primetime newscast coming to cable on WGN America, and it will be powered by stories from next our news stations across this country, including our own right here at KRBC. It's called News Nation, and it will premiere September 1st. Joining us now from their studio in Chicago are anchors Joe Donlin and Marnie Hughes. Hello, How are you all doing this afternoon? Thanks for having us. We're, We're great. Yeah, great to see you. Great to chat with you. How's everything in Abilene? Well, it's hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> That's what we hear. <laughs> Well, how are you relying on local news stations like KRBC to help fill your newscast? And how many people will be working on content for your newscast? Wow, well it is a big undertaking and we have a lot of people here in Chicago and also spread out around the country, but uh, to your point, we are going to be relying on you folks in Abilene as well as the 5,400 other journalists across the country at Next Star Stations uh, to bring you News Nation on September 1st. It's a three hour primetime newscast, national newscast that will be airing on WGN America and we like to think of it as one big team because we're all working together to bring news to the country that really represents the entire country. So we like to say from big cities to small towns, uh, there are great stories out there, and we're here to bring you a newscast that brings it all together. I believe one of our photographers is milling around here. We'll give you a shot, some of our, uh, our newsroom here, and explain a little bit more, David, about how this works. Uh, as you can see here, this shows you some of the zones in our newsroom, and this is really one of the impressive things about how we're operating here. These zone and regional managers populate the best stories from around the country, and all of our next our stations like yours there in Abilene as we mentioned and then every day at 11 o'clock at our editorial meeting these all bubble up and the best stories of the day end up as part of our content each night these are stories that might not otherwise make it on a national news broadcast but part of what we're doing here is shining a light on many of these stories and it's what we really have enjoyed leaning on as we've been doing these rehearsals here for the last couple of weeks it's been great and I guess Marnie I would say really a great example of how this is going to look for example as we covered Isaias the hurricane we were able to tap into all of our next door stations along the East Coast and provide coverage as we went through the evening and it was really an impressive asset and a sight to see. Yeah and in addition to that so we're in our newsroom but we have an entire studio downstairs and we're fine-tuning a few of the things including a brand new floor this weekend uh, which is why we're not down there right now but we have a state-of-the-art studio that we will debut on September 1st uh, every night and that's the the studio where you'll see our news and really where we'll be able to highlight some of the technology that we have uh, that can take you to those big stories. For instance, if we're covering severe weather in Texas, uh, we'd love to have one of your reporters on our show and mm -hmm. show us exactly what you guys are experiencing down there. Awesome, we'd love to hear that. And how often will the newscast run for viewers to see? It'll be live each night, and in the Midwest, in the Central Time Zone, in Abilene, there it'll be 7 to 10. Uh, you can go to WGN America and type in your zip code, and it'll give you the channel finder in your area. Uh, but right now, I believe it will re-air on the West Coast, but for everyone else, it'll just be a live show, 8 to 11, East Coast, and then 7, and 7 to 10, Central. Yeah, three, it's three distinct hours of news. So we'll cover the news of the day, of course, the news is the news, but uh, we want to have a little bit more depth than that, and that's where I think all of our affiliate stations come in and we'll, we'll lean heavily into, into them and the partnership that they have with our zone producers to, to bring you more stories. For example, last night we were covering Isaias, we were covering the explosion in Beirut, but we also highlighted a really great story of a little boy named Frankie in Connecticut who was doing some really cool woodworking art pieces and selling them during the pandemic to raise money for his community. So it's stories like that that often aren't getting told on the national scale uh, that we have room for in a three-hour newscast uh, to bring to the nation. Now, will News Nation be available on platforms other than TV? Absolutely. You have to be these days, right? I yes. mean, we all uh, count on the streaming options, and I know that the uh, News Nation Now app will be available, and we'll be streaming 24-7 on that. In fact, I think if we can take a picture of uh, uh, some video, rather, of our digital desk, you'll get a better idea of where that will be set up. So that'll be running all of the time. Yes, yeah, so our digital desk is 24-7. Uh, while we're on TV three hours a night, we know we have to meet people where they are and make news accessible and easy to find. And so on multiple platforms, 
platforms, whether it's your smartphone, your device, your tablet, or it's on television, uh, we're an operation that is set up to bring you news when it breaks uh, as it happens. And that's a priority for us uh, to make sure that we're accessible. And as we get ready for the launch on September 1st, another good place to follow us and also kind of the process as we do rehearsals and get, get ready to go is on all of our social media platforms. So search for News Nation now as we get ready for September. All right, awesome. And our last question here, what's the main difference between News Nation and other primetime offerings from news channels? I think we are a, a distinct choice in primetime cable news come September 1 because we want to do something that is not currently happening. We're offering uh, a newscast that is focused on the facts, good journalism. It really gets to the heart of what we all went to journalism school for, which was ask good questions, listen, and report the news, and let people at home decide what they think about it. Our opinion doesn't belong in what we do, and at the end of the day, you decide how you feel. Yeah, and that's what's been getting a lot of attention, our mission here. Here, which is to be balanced not biased and it's something that's getting attention because it's really unusual in this time frame uh, prime time on cable which is really primarily talk and opinion we're offering something different from that and that's what we're hanging our hat on and it's what we're hearing everywhere we go this is great I don't want you to tell me how to think I want you to just tell me the news all right guys thank you so much for your time news nation premieres September 1st on WGN America check out WGNAmerica.com to follow developments thank you for joining us